Unfortunately, with lung cancer, symptoms are late. You know, cough is a very common but very non-specific symptom. So not everybody who coughs has a cancer, right? And so you really can't base a lot of stuff on that. And a small nodule at a point where we can still cure this cancer, when it's a small nodule about half an inch or less, less let's say, you're not gonna feel that one. That is just silently growing. So this is why it's important to do lung screening. The definition of screening is that we're taking somebody who doesn't have symptoms, but they're at high risk, and we're checking to see if they have potentially an early detectable cancer that is not symptomatic, but yet can be cured. It's the same idea as a mammogram. Not everybody feels a lump in their breast, but we're doing mammograms at a regular interval so that we can catch those lumps before they're even palpable, right? The whole point is to catch it early before it becomes obvious. And it's the same with lung screening. We wanna do your lung screening low-dose CT scan every year so we can catch this early nodule at a point where we can say we can cure it rather than wait until you now have weight loss and coughing up blood and all the other symptoms that are associated with late cancer, at which point cure is probably not gonna happen. And treatment is limited in what can, it, it can offer. The key, don't smoke to begin with, but also detection early. So if you're a smoker and you meet the criteria, lung screening with a low-dose CT scan is currently what we're recommending. we can think of a lung nodule as a spot. We do a CT scan or a chest X-ray and we see a spot on your CT scan. Just looking at it doesn't tell us if it's cancer or not. There are things that make us think it's cancer and there are calculators that we can look at and say, well, the percentage of this being a cancer is high. For example, the bigger it is, the older you are, if you're a smoker, if you're male, depending on the position it's in, all these things can tell us, oh yeah, this is likely a cancer, but it doesn't tell us it's a cancer. Until we take a piece of it, we don't know for sure. Now, a fungal infection can also cause a lung nodule. In the Midwest, Wisconsin, one of the commonest reasons for small, tiny lung nodules is actually previous exposure to histoplasma, which is a fungus in the soil. It's all around us. You walk in the woods, you dig in your backyard, you come across it. And our own body is very capable of taking care of it. So basically, it finds these little organisms and walls them off, and that's what becomes a little nodule on a CT scan. But we can't just tell that by looking at it. So often, when we find a nodule, we kind of go into, what is the likelihood that it's a cancer? If it's really a very small likelihood, then we're not gonna subject you to invasive tests. We're just gonna follow it. But if it's pretty likely, then we are going after it to try and prove it, or potentially even just take it out. With lung cancer, you know, and, and the reason that we try and push lung screening, you know, you might go to your primary provider or to your pulmonologist and they talk to you about lung screening. Having a low dose CT scan, low dose of radiation CT scan on a yearly basis, similar to mammogram. People are familiar with the idea of a mammogram. And the whole idea there is that we want to detect these spots or these nodules when they're really small. So if we, something, if we see something that is small and likely to be a cancer, we want to be able to prove it, take it out, treat it at a point where we can cure it. And if we can take a very early stage lung cancer, cure can reach close to 100% if we get it early enough.